Yo, what's good everyone? It's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome to a very interesting video today. So recently Google's Gemini AI has gained the ability to watch your screen while you screen share to it. Just like if you were sharing your screen to a friend on Discord. Well, a subscriber named Jesse recently messaged me and told me it actually works really well for playing GeoGuessr with Gemini. So today I'm going to share screen with Gemini and it's going to play a community world on NMPZ. I tested on one round and I'm very curious to see how it goes with a few more. So without further Further ado, let's hop over here to Gemini, which of course you can try out for free, aistudio.google.com. And from now, my conversation will not be with you guys, but instead with Gemini. So let's hit talk and show screen. Hello, Gemini. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? Excellent. So today you and I are going to be playing some GeoGuessr together. Are you familiar with that game? I understand you want to play GeoGuessr. I am familiar with that game. Would you like to play with the no move option as it is highlighted in the image? No, we're actually going to be playing no moving, panning or zooming, which means it's a still image. Basically just guessing the location of a photograph. Okay. So you will be playing GeoGuessr with the no moving, panning or zooming option selected, which means you'll have to guess the location based on a still image. Is that correct? Exactly right. Okay, here is the first image. I'm not going to be guessing. You're the one who's going to be guessing, okay? So I'm, I want to know where you think this is and why. Okay, based on the image, I believe the location could be in Eastern Europe, possibly in a Baltic country such as Lithuania, Latvia, or Estonia. The architecture of the building, the street style, the type of foliage, and the color palette of the surroundings suggest this. Also, the cars look similar to those commonly seen in Europe. Do you think that's a good guess? I do think that's a good guess. Of course, it's up to you. So, in GeoGuessr, you have to put your pin down on the map like I'm doing now. I want you to tell me exactly where I should put my pin down. Should we go Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, or somewhere else? Based Based on the image, and since you asked me to be specific, I would suggest placing the pin in Latvia perhaps near the capital city of Riga. Okay, I'm gonna place it in Latvia. Let's see what score you get. As an aside to the people who are watching because I'm recording a YouTube video, I initially thought Poland before the AI started talking. Now I'm thinking it's probably Lithuania, but Latvia does seem possible to me. So I'm gonna guess now. Okay, I understand. You've placed the pin in Latvia, and even though you initially thought it was Poland and then Lithuania, you're going with Latvia for your guess. Let's because see I'm... what the result is. Yeah, because I'm allowing you to guess. Okay, let's see. And it was Lithuania. All right, so it turns out the correct location was Lithuania, not Latvia. Would you like to play another round? Yes. So we're going to let you okay, play again. Sound, okay, I'm ready. Let's play another round. A little bit of talking over each other, but that's fine. Let's see what the next image is here. It's loaded in. There's a few things that give away the no country No problem, to let's me. move on to the next. There's a few things that give away the country Okay, I see the new me. image. <laughs> the wa- <laughs> Based on the new image, it looks like we're in a country in South America, mm -hmm. possibly Brazil. The architecture, the landscape, and the general feel of the image lead me to that guess. What do you think about this new image? Well, what I think about it, I'll reveal once you've made your specific guess. So where exactly, I'm talking maybe even a province or a state in some country, which specific province or state would you put your, your marker down in, in order to get as close as possible? Given that the country is likely Brazil, I would guess that the specific state is Bahia due to the landscape and the vegetation style. Would you like me to place the marker there? Yes, we'll go in Bahia. Now, is there anything specifically about Bahia that makes it more likely than surrounding states like Piauí or Tocantins or Minas Gerais? While the surrounding states have similar landscapes, the vegetation and the style of the buildings visible in the distance in the image are more consistent with Bahia. Also, I'm going to assume this bridge is over a river that flows from the interior of the state to the ocean, which is common in Bahia. Okay, I'm going to guess Bahia right now. Let's see if it's correct. And okay, you weren't too far away here. It was actually on the border between Piauí and Maranhão there. So 3,000 points. Okay, that was a close guess. So you are ready for the next round? Yep, so you're on a one country streak. We'll see how many countries in a row you can get correct, all right? Here's the next one. So what are you initially thinking of this image? Which country and which region do you think it will be? Okay, so something went wrong with the AI just then. I'm gonna have to reset it. It's interesting, guys. Like, beyond the fact that it keeps on trying to talk over me, it is actually pretty good at the game. It's definitely worse than I am, but at the same time, I feel like it's low-key equivalent to a pretty decently ranked player. So it goes without saying, do not use this in ranked. I don't think it would be difficult to anyway, but do not do that. That is against the rules. Anyway, I'm gonna go jump in here again and uh, see if the AI is back. Hello, AI, can you hear me? Okay. Okay, I hear you now. Which state or subdivision do you think this is in? Based on the landscape, the style of the road, and the general feel of the image, I'm gonna guess that this location is in the state of Vermont. Okay, I personally like that guess. It looks like in the background we have some eastern white pine, so I could definitely see Vermont as a possibility here. I'm gonna make the guess and see how close you were. 
And it was actually Vermont. So Great. how did you get that correct? Great job on correctly guessing that the location in the image was in Vermont. Based on the landscape, the types of trees, and the general feel, that was a very good guess. Definitely. Okay, let's see what the next image is here. I am ready. Let's see the next image. Okay, so this is the image. This one's a bit different. What are you thinking in terms of the specific county or state? This looks like a small town or village in the United Kingdom. Based on the architectural style, I would guess that it is in the southwest of England, perhaps in the county of Cornwall or Devon. Is there anything specific about the architecture that would be specific to Cornwall or Devon here, or is it just a vibe? I see what you mean. It's more of a general vibe. Some of the architectural elements that point towards that region are the use of light-colored stone and the slightly weathered look of the buildings. The relatively narrow streets also contribute to the sense that this is a small town. What could you say about the blue and green houses? Because I feel like they're not too typical for the United Kingdom. That's an interesting point. The pastel blue and green colors of the buildings are not not that common in larger cities of the UK. However, these shades are often found in older coastal towns and villages, especially in the southwest. These brighter colors are a reminder of the seaside and could give a hint towards its location. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to go down to Cornwall and Devon here, and I'll put you in a town nearby to Plymouth here. Well, actually, let's go up towards Exeter. Let's go in the town of Exmouth here. Does that sound okay? Yes. Exmouth in Devon sounds like a good guess. Okay, let's guess. And... It was actually all the way down in the southwest of England. So it was actually in the town of Penzance. Okay, that was a great guess, even though it was not exactly in Exmouth, but rather in Penzance, which is indeed in the southwest of England. That was a great result. You're on a three country streak. You've gotten three countries in a row correct now. Let's see if you can get to five. It sounds good. I will try my best to keep up with the streak. Let's go to the next round. On to the next one here. We can see a very different landscape to the last one. Tell me what you're thinking about this. This image is very different from the previous one. The lush vegetation, rice paddies, and the motorcycle suggest a tropical region. Based on those clues, my guess is that this location could be somewhere in Southeast Asia, potentially somewhere like Sri Lanka. Okay, so you've named Sri Lanka as your most likely country here. Why Sri Lanka and not any surrounding countries? Okay, something went wrong again, guys. This asked me to clear the stream and start again. But that Cornwall round was actually fascinating. Like, definitely a gettable round for a pro. But I feel like if you're an intermediate player, actually just practicing along with this and actually picking the AI's thought process as to why it's going there could actually be really beneficial for playing. That's the feeling I'm getting here. But let's see if we can get this one. It's on a three country streak, which is honestly pretty impressive. Sure, I think that the image is most likely from the Sabaragamua province in Sri Lanka. That province has the kind of lush vegetation, roads, and rural feel visible in the image. Okay, so I've zoomed into Sri Lanka. Which province is that? Okay, it looks like you've zoomed into the Sabaragamua province on the map of Sri Lanka. I'm not sure which one it is. All right, I see what you mean. Let's try this. The area has a flat terrain, a bit of forest, and rice paddies. Based on this, I would say that it is most likely the eastern province. Okay, eastern province is your new guess. That's not what you were saying before. You are correct, my apologies. Should I try again? I mean... I'm happy to go with the Eastern Province if you think so, though I think it might actually look like the one you originally said. If you think that is a better fit, I will not disagree with that. Well, it's up to you in the end. So which one do you prefer? I'm going to go back to my initial assessment and say that the image looks more like the Sabargamua Province. Let's guess that. Okay, impressive guess. That was 28 kilometers away, and your original guess was correct. It's there. Great to know that my original guess was the correct one. Okay, we're gonna do another round, okay? You've gotten four countries in a row correct so far. Let's see if you can get five. I'm ready for another round. Let's see if I can keep the streak going. That's a very impressive guess, by the way, guys. Okay, let's see the next one. That was a 22,000 point game. And here's the next round. Okay. Can you tell me where you think this image was taken? Okay, this new image shows a road, some palm trees, and a sign that says, My Victory Guest House. Based on the vegetation, the style of buildings, and the sign, I think this image was likely taken in Ghana. What makes you say Ghana as opposed to other surrounding countries? The specific style of the buildings, the way they are constructed, and the sign look like what I've seen from Ghana before. Also, palm trees are common there. This makes me think it's Ghana instead of another surrounding country. Okay, given that you think it's Ghana, could you tell me where specifically in the country you would guess which province? Given the image, I would guess that it's the central region of Ghana, since it looks like it's a coastal region with a mix of vegetation and buildings. Okay, I found the central region. That's this one. I'm going to go down towards the coast, okay? Near Cape Coast. Okay, so you think the image is from the central region of Ghana, near Cape Coast. Do you want me to confirm your guess? Uh, I think you've got the wrong way around here. You're the one who said it was central region, and I'm the one who confirms the guess. You are absolutely right. I apologize 
apologize for the confusion. You were the one who guessed the central region, and I should be confirming, not guessing the province. My mistake. You're still confused, but I'm gonna guess and let's see how close it was. Oh, it was over in the east, okay, but it was- it I understand. Was you got it, it was indeed in Ghana. Five countries in a row, that's impressive, right? Yes, five countries in a row is a great streak. You're doing very well. Okay, let's play to the end of this seed, guys. Next one here. What are you thinking of this one, Gemini? I'm curious to see which country you think this is. This new image has a very different feel from the previous one, with a paved road, a long, modern-looking barn or shed, and a smokestack in the distance. Based on those elements, I would guess that this picture was taken in Austria. What specifically about this image makes you think it was Austria as opposed to surrounding countries? The overall feel of the image, with the mix of modern architecture and lush countryside, matches what I've seen from Austria before. The way that the barn is built, the smokestack in the distance, and the type of trees are all elements that seem common in Austria. Okay, now can you please tell me exactly where in Austria to guess? Maybe tell me the nearest big city and then I'll pick somewhere that makes sense based on that. We did indeed break it again. I think it kind of has a limit of 10 videos before it turns off. Not really sure if that's because I don't have the premium version or what, but it is interesting that it's not picking up the Austrian bollards here. I mean, the Swiss bollards, obviously Austria has a red reflector, so it's a completely different bollard. So it really is just going a landscape, which makes it even more impressive that it's somehow guessing the exact place in Sri Lanka. I mean, honestly, for some countries, I could see it being a big benefit to actually practice with it. But okay, let's uh, boot it back up here. Oh no! Could you tell me the specific locality you think this image was taken in? Sure, I can help you with that. Based on the image, it appears to be taken in Switzerland, more precisely in the canton of Thurgau. Okay, where is that canton located? I'm unfamiliar with the different cantons of Switzerland. Thurgau is located in the northeastern part of Switzerland. Okay, I'm gonna guess there on one of the main roads. Let's see how close it is. It looks like you placed your guess in the town of Weinfelden. Is that correct? Indeed, but it was actually just north of Zurich, right on the German border. Can you see that? Yes, I can see that you were close to the location. Now, what made you think that that image was not Austria? The license plates on the cars in the image had a Swiss style and not Austrian. The building on the right with the large silver sphere is a biogas plant, which are common in Switzerland. Oh, that's interesting. Now, how from this distance could you tell that it was a Swiss license plate and not an Austrian one? Well, when you zoom in on the vehicle's license plate, you can see that it has a white background and a Swiss emblem on the left-hand side. Whereas Austrian ones typically use a white background with black lettering. That's fair enough. Okay, well, that was an interesting round. I was initially thinking it was Austria, so good job on getting that it was Switzerland. Glad I could help you with that. Would you like to go Go on to the next round of GeoGuessr? Of course, here is the next round. I want you to tell me where in the world you think this is specifically, and also what you think of this blue bridge. Okay, based on the image, this bridge looks like it is in Europe, possibly in Eastern Europe. Specifically, I would guess that it is located in Hungary. The bridge itself appears to be an older steel truss bridge. Would you like to know if my guess is correct? Yes, we're gonna guess Hungary. Could you tell me where in the country it's likely to be, which major city it will be nearby? Given that it is a rural location, I'd say it is likely not close to a major city. However, if I were to place a guess on the map, I would guess the bridge is located in central Hungary, north of Ketakai Kemet. Okay, so Ketakai Kemet is this one here. I can't pronounce it correctly, but let's guess as the AI wants to and see. And wow, you were remarkably close there, just 72 kilometers away. Would you like to continue playing or do you have any other questions for me? Let's continue. Let's see what the next image is here. It's just loaded in. This is the new one. Could you tell me where in the world you think this one's going to be, specifically the state or province? This looks like it could be in North America, specifically in Canada. Given the architecture of the homes, I would guess it's probably in the province of Quebec. What about these houses specifically says Quebec to you as opposed to maybe Maine or Ontario or something nearby? The style of architecture is what suggests Quebec to me. Specifically, the stone building on the right side of the street is common in Quebec. Also, the brick on the other house is also a common construction material in Quebec. Guys, I think Gemini is right on this one. I'm going to put in the guess here. That's an impressive guess, uh, Gemini. Let's see if you're correct about it, though. And it was indeed Quebec. I'm impressed with that guess. It seems that my assessment was correct. Would you like to continue to the next round? I'm just preemptively resetting it, guys. But this is impressive stuff, man. I mean, I think in some regions it's going to be more useful than others for actually learning and whatnot. But regardless, I mean, the technology is scarily good. That's for sure. Anyhow, let's uh, let's get it back on here. I'm going to go to 10. If it gets 10 in a row, then uh, I'm going to be thoroughly impressed. Just to the end of the seat, I suppose. So let's go. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> 
Based on the image, this looks like it is somewhere in Poland. The specific locality and state cannot be determined from the image alone. Would you like to make a guess based on my response? Yes, but given the fact that I have to put a, a marker down exactly where I think it is in GeoGuessr, even if I don't know for sure, I would like you to tell me which locality you want me to put it in, even if you can't tell. Okay, given the landscape, I would suggest a location in central Poland, near the city of Lodz. Okay, we're gonna guess near Woodshire upon the request of the AI. And it was actually in central Germany near Magdeburg there. Why do you think you went wrong there? My initial assessment of the location being in Poland was based on the flat landscape and the type of trees. However, the specific architectural style of the road and ditch, which is often seen in Germany, was not something I focused on initially. You ended up with eight countries in a row as your best score. And out of a possible 25,000 points in this game, you got 22,500 across your five guesses. So what could you say about, you know, the way you play this game and why you're able to guess so close? In the beginning, I focused on broad geographical patterns like flat landscapes and certain types of trees, but I did not give enough attention to details like the road's architectural style, which is common in Germany. If someone was wanting to get better at this game, what do you think the main places they should focus their efforts on are? Because there are many different ways they could could focus their attention, but which do you think are the most useful and the most high yield? For improvement in this game, I would advise a focus on detailed observation of specific architectural styles, including roads, buildings, and fences. Additionally, attention should be paid to the types of vegetation in a given image. Analyzing the color of the soil and even the style of street signs or markings can be beneficial in pinpointing a location more accurately. But I think it's quite hard to work out those things because they have very broad patterns. So it's going to take a long time to learn about the different soils all around the world or the different architecture all around the world. So how would you focus in your attention? You're right, those are very broad patterns. Focusing on specific regions or countries at a time can help narrow your focus. Okay, well, thank you for playing with me, Gemini. You're welcome. I enjoyed playing with you. Okay, so there we go. That was our foray playing with Gemini. Honestly, extremely impressive stuff. These are the type of guesses on NMPZ that you could expect from someone with maybe a little bit less experience than me or or maybe, honestly, would I have done better in this game? I'm just trying to think. I would have got closer on the Ghana. I knew it was going to be the Southeast region. Quebec, I just made my own guess. So who knows where they but actually wanted to guess there. On the Switzerland and the Hungary, probably similar guess on Switzerland. Hungary, maybe similar. And then the Germany, I wasn't quite sure. I thought Poland was a decent guess. Also considered Germany or, or Czechia. This this AI is probably playing at like an 1800 level on it, NMPZ, which, which I mean is kind of scary. As I've been saying, you're not allowed to use external assistance to play this game. So this is banned if you're playing multi player single player though eat your heart out it's pretty fun and uh honestly i think it's great for practicing if i was like suggesting okay if i wanted to learn switzerland i could definitely get good insight by sitting down with the ai i think and just talking about each different canton and what separates it from the next one sometimes the ai has very <laughs> terrible reasoning other times very good reasoning so i guess you kind of have to separate the wheat from the chaff but guys i hope you enjoyed this video honestly a good lot of fun in my opinion and yeah guys i will see you guys in a video very soon let me know if there's anything you want to see me do with gemini and yeah guys till next time goodbye